never found this brand. I'm shaking. So there were two competing sales that I wanted to go to this Saturday morning. There was one that was a fill a bag for ten dollars. Yeah. For ten dollars, which I mean. That's a steal of a deal. Yeah, yeah. yeah. love it. At a really high-end thrift boutique. And the other was a dollar per item or dollar bins at another thrift that I absolutely love. I've been to both, I've talked about them both on my channel, but I decided to take a little bit of a risk. My spidey senses were telling me, try out the fill a bag for $10 sale. So that's what I did. You are first. Oh, yay! <laughs> what is your name? Ashley. Perfect. Wearing a GoPro. So my little thrift adventures, is that okay? okay? And then yeah, I, that's fine. I have like a YouTube channel. Oh yeah, I, I know have you. Have you seen my yeah, Oh, that's yeah, so you're sweet. you're famous. <laughs> hey. I'm, I'm Marley, I'm the owner. Oh, you're the owner. Yeah, oh, nice so to, meet you. to meet you. And it's so great. You have an amazing thank shop. You. So yeah. great, thank Four you. Oh, yeah. Is it anything? Fill a bag of anything, it's or is just it? It's just in this room. Right this here. room. Yeah. Oh, okay, okay, okay. So we oh, stopped okay. it, and we'll add clothes throughout the day. So. Okay, very cool. How fun. Okay. It's rare that I'm the first one to arrive, but I was the first one there at this fill a bag event and they put my name on a list because they could only let in a certain number of people at a time. So once your name is on the list and once you leave, they keep track of that and they're able to let the next person in. So I was the first one there. But before that, because I was early, I met the owner and I talked to her. She actually recognized me from some of my videos. She was the nicest person. She told me she used to be a reseller. She has a thrift boutique, but now she's kind of moving into vintage. She rescues, I think, 100,000 pounds of clothing and decided I'm gonna open a store and let's see what happens. And it all kind of snowballed from there. Thank you. Yeah. Oh, if I need more, can I can I stay as long as I? Yeah, yeah, for sure. Okay. Yeah, if you need another bag, just come let me know. Okay, yeah. I will. Thank you. I'm glad I was first because it got really hectic in there really fast. But off the bat, I did spot some Free People Movement. That is the Free People Movement logo. So you guys saw me pick up one of the first things that I got were these Free People leggings, and I knew they were Free People from the logo. This logo here is like free people active or intimately free people. So definitely be on the lookout for that. Um, but yeah, free people movement, I should say. These will sell just fine. They're like their mesh leggings. I've sold a ton of free people movement. I'm not expecting a ton of money for these, but I'd say at least 20 to 25 bucks. Next up, I found some Hey Hey Pants. This is an anthropology brand, as well as a character from Moana. Um, but these always sell decently well for me. For a fill a bag sale, I'll absolutely grab them. Same with Cabby. I don't always pick it up, but this style, the super stretchy waist and the wide legs is really on trend. Should sell really well. Same with the Nike. I don't know how many Nikes I picked up today, but a ton. It should flip quickly. Hudson jeans as well. Flat pocket, flare, Rahem, all good things. And this should move as well. Rock Revival, again, one of my favorites to pick up. It has like these larger bling pockets and you can look up the style inside pretty obviously. These are the Patty Skinny in a size 29, which is a better size for this brand. Because it's skinny, it probably won't sell for as much, but I do see a sold comp for $30 for these exact pants. So I was excited to find them regardless because I paid, what did I pay, like 50 cents for everything here? So totally worth it. Nike remains just one of my favorite brands. It's a bread and butter brand, meaning it sells for 10 to $20 each time, sometimes more. This is a more recent style. Whenever you see like the large spell out, just do it, those always are a consistent mover for me. Another Nike. This happens to be a LeBron James collab. You guys saw me pick up a ton of Nike. Nike is at a fill a bag sale, just a no brainer for me. It just sells consistently, even if it's only for 10, $15, I don't mind. This is a LeBron, a Nike X LeBron. Hopefully I could do a better job. Sweatshirt. I do see sold comps in like the 20 to $30 range for this. So I was excited to pick it up, but I picked up their shorts, joggers, leggings. Um, all of those will sell great. No surprise, like a lot of you, I'm very concerned about my health. I want to have longevity for my kids, especially as I get closer and closer to 40. I want to make sure that I have a healthy and active lifestyle, but it's a huge struggle because I'm so busy. I'm running my business, doing shipping, doing listing, Things, finding inventory, filming videos, trying to find time to exercise, all of those things get really overwhelming, which is why I love Fit Track and why I've been using it to help me keep track of my goals and to work towards even better goals with my health. Fit Track is a body composition monitor, so the number on the scale doesn't tell you the whole story. So I like knowing my full composition. How am I doing? Am I working towards those goals? Am I building more muscle mass? Um, am I getting stronger? Am I getting healthier? Am I sleeping well? All of these things factor in, not just weight. 
weight means nothing. Using FitTrack as an accountability tool as well as the app to help me work towards actual real goals that are attainable and manageable. They have tons of amazing workouts. They have workout classes. They have instructors, personalized programs just for you, just to help you meet your goals. I could definitely get more sleep. So that's one big goal that I have to make sure I'm getting at least seven to eight hours. I have really been slacking on that as well as just upping my protein intake. I don't believe in diets. I don't like anything strict. Um, I'll never not treat myself to little things. As you guys know, it's like a part of enjoying and loving life, but I definitely think it fits within a realm of trying to pay attention to your overall health. The website's already having a huge sale, but if you use my link, you get an additional 20% off that. So definitely take advantage of that. I absolutely love this product and I I think you will too. Thanks to FitTrack for sponsoring this portion of the video. And now let's get back into it. Some more free people. These are some super cute little cargo shorts. Uh, these should do just fine. 15 bucks, 18 bucks here is a comp I found. Anthropology is a little hit or miss. This is a one September sweater. I'm gonna try to sell it, but we'll see if it sits around. It's been sitting more for me lately. J Jill, I will pick up at a fill bag sale. This is a pont knit dress, 30 bucks there. These buckle black jeans though, I might keep for myself. <laughs> so normally I'm not picking up buckle black, but I couldn't resist. These are in the same style as those joggers that I got that were Derek Lamb that made a big splash when I tried them on. I think that was like one of my top comments was keep them, they're cute. And I did keep them, I, I love them. So actually what I'm gonna do is try these on and let's see if they fit the same way as the Derek Lamb ones did. But otherwise, I do think because of the style, the 90s kind of flair here, they'll still sell even if I don't keep them. All right, so here are the joggers and shock, I actually really like them. I think, is this just my new vibe wearing like distressed 90s joggers and looking like DJ Tanner? Um, maybe, but I actually think they're really cute and they're really comfortable and maybe this is just who I actually am. Oh yeah, sorry. All right, true confession, I kind of hate selling blazers so I avoid them, but this is a Ralph Lauren blazer and it seemed really nice. I'm gonna try to flip it for 20 bucks and get it out of my store quickly. We will see what happens, I'll report back. Another Nike Golf, just really basic men's Nike Golf shorts. Totally fine with me, some more Nike shorts. This is actually a more recent style. They're the Tech Fleece Woven Short, and these should actually sell quickly. I love finding Solomon. Again, it's not gonna sell for the most money, but it's a very consistent mover. It's sold at REI. It's a really popular, active outdoor brand. And as usual, like the beacon I am, I summoned Lulu. <laughs> okay, so you guys saw me find Lulu. They spoke to me, they came to me. Unfortunately, this isn't like the most desirable style. So this is like the softer cottony fabric. I think that's Luan and uh, it tends to pill a little bit. I'll take care of that. They are full length, uh, thank goodness, because if they were this material and the crops, I might have even passed them because those are really hard to sell. But these are full length. Um, they have a fun print on the waistband. I still think these will sell for like $30. So always thrilled to find Lulu. As you guys know, I found a bunch for myself also. <laughs> We love finding Patagonia, but especially sweaters with the logo spell out on the front. Okay, this will be so perfect for my kids. It's a brand new, basically brand new Patagonia kids hoodie. I think it's so cool. If I wasn't going to give it to my kids, I would resell this for probably 30 or $40. It's definitely sought after when you have the brand printed like in the big logo up front. So always be on the lookout for that. Big logos sell a lot better than no logo at all. So I had a hunch about this scarf. This is a very large spell out Abercrombie and Fitch vintage scarf. Um, I don't see a ton of comps on eBay, but like I said earlier, you know, large spell out, large print logos are good. And this, I do think this is more vintage. Um, I do see a sold on Vestair, which is like another kind of high end resale website for $40. So I do have a lot of hopes that this will sell well. Um, I think somebody will want it. It's kind of iconic with the large print there. So yeah, another, another really cool find at this sale. Oh my gosh. Okay. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Never found this brand. I'm shaking. I I died and then came back. So on my thrifting bucket list, someone asked me on Instagram. I did a Q and A on Instagram a while back, and they said, "What is like your dream thing to find?" And I said, "Magnolia Pearl," <laughs> because I've never found it. It's rare, but it's one of those brands that looks really basic. The tag looks basic. It looks like nothing, but it's worth 
tons of money and I love those kinds of brands. It is like, what did they say? Poverty chic. I don't know why, like it has a following and there's even a TikTok I found of like a mom who's wearing, a girl's mom who's wearing all Magnolia Pearl and it looks crazy, but her outfit is like a $5,000 outfit. So it's just one of these brands that's a sleeper because it looks really basic, but it's worth a ton even in resale. So everything on their website is boho chic, poverty chic, everything is like poverty core. The irony is crazy, the website is kind of insane. So this exact kind of kimono, which I'll go try on, we'll, try, we'll see how it looks, because I want to understand what something this valuable looks like on me. Yeah, this is a $550 resale value because I saw a recent sold comp on Poshmark for that amount. Okay. This is what a $550 open front kimono duster, whatever this is, looks like. Yeah, I mean, I don't hate it. Like, I get, I guess I kind of get the vibe, but like some of their pieces are truly a mystery. Like, they look just so different and odd to me. But yeah, that is crazy. I'll, I'll never have a thrifting moment. I don't think that tops this. Finding my actual, like, holy grail brand with all of you guys is a moment I'll never forget. So uh, yeah, there you go. Let's hope she sells. So what I'm going to do now is just go through some of the racks and see if I can find anything else that I think would do well. Okay guys, we're gonna do it. We're gonna get a mystery bag and we will unbag it together. Oh my gosh, that was so much fun. I cannot believe for $20 I got all that stuff. Um, I'm excited to add it up with you. The Magnolia Pearl, I was screaming mentally, inwardly. But I was so excited to find that because I've never found it before. It's been on my bucket list forever. And then suddenly it's like for 50 cents. So I manifested it, it came true. Um, got tons of Lulu for myself. We're gonna try some stuff on. We're gonna add stuff up. You guys know what time it is. It is the best time of the day, treat time. So let's go get a treat because we've earned it. All right, it's definitely a Chick-fil-A treat day because of today's amazing haul. And because I found my dream bucket list item, I'm gonna get something from Chick-fil-A that I don't ever really get because I don't treat myself to it that often. And it's the chocolate milkshake. And if you haven't had the chocolate milkshake, it's to die for good. So good. So I'm gonna get that with my usual and we'll regroup at home. <laughs> that is the ultimate treat. That is so good. I found this. I want you to guess, maybe even put it on. I want you to guess what that sells for. Magnolia, so it's that lady's kind no. of- No, Magnolia Pearl. Uh, it looks like you can make this yourself for, I don't know, Three dollars. Okay, what what does it sell for? Eight bucks. No. Twenty bucks. More. Fifty bucks. Go high. Go high. No way. Yeah, go <laughs> high. It's probably more than fifty bucks. Go higher. Go high. Bucks. More. Two hundred. More. You're kidding. No. Three hundred. More. No. This thing. Yeah. Five hundred. Yes. Are you serious? Yeah. Yeah. Why? It is a super bolo brand. You I know. almost got Chick-fil-A. I didn't. Anyway, we're gonna enjoy this. Wow, congratulations. Thank you, thank wow. you. All right, all in all, out of everything I got just at the fill -a bag sale, I have over a thousand dollars in sales here. A lot of that is thanks to the Magnolia Pearl. So for a $20 investment into over a thousand, I'm over the moon, but I'm not forgetting that we also got this grab bag 20 items for $20 in a size small so maybe some of these will kind of fit me maybe not um, but I'm looking obviously for things that I can resell it says here that there are J Crew, American Eagle boutique brands forever 21 so let's find out speechless uh, like a little blouse that's not bad for like if I wanted to keep it um, but no not to resell I might have just driven up my average cost of goods but that's fine Forever 21, this little dress here, that's kind of cute. Forever 21 though, absolutely does not, I can't give it away on eBay, so that won't sell. A no, it's, a, it's like an unbranded tank top. Um, come on, let there be one thing in here. Daisy Fuentes, 
it's nothing. <laughs> Let's see. Okay, 41 Hawthorne uh, is a brand that's sold with Stitch Fix, which is like a fashion mailing service. Every I think like you take a quiz and you take pictures of things you like and then they kind of do an assessment and a stylist helps pick out things for you and then they ship it to you and you try them on and keep what you want. Used to sell for a lot because Stitch Fix brands used to really sell hot on eBay, but not anymore. But I, I don't think I'll be able to sell that on eBay. An Old Navy, little like baseball tee. Baseball stuff! Baseball stuff! We've got Ivanka Trump, little blouse here. That probably won't resell super well. Maybe, there was a time when it kind of did. Oh, hey! I Guys, I summoned it. Uh, a Lulu top, a Lulu short sleeve, oh my gosh. Definitely a keeper for me. That's really cool, I'm excited that I found that. Wow, who knew that I found like the one grab bag that had Lulu in it? I'm telling you guys, I, I have a power. So that's great, and if I didn't sell it, that'd probably be 25, 30 bucks, so that's exciting. Above, stars above, like pajama pants, ah. Curly, curly's not bad. Almost famous, little raglan pullover burnout tee. <laughs> Just a plain cloth belt, okay. Flamingo Urban is another kind of just boutique brand that doesn't really sell very well. Oh, new with tags, Banana Republic tank. That's kind of cool. Maurice's, a little, another little burnout tee. Hiatus, a little like waffle knit thermal. These will be good for, again, my own little wardrobe. Additions to my wardrobe, just regular t-shirts, an old navy. Listicle, so it's like another boutique brand. It's kind of got a free people vibe to it, this shirt. So, uh, hey, guess what? We found a Lulu. I say that's a success. I'm thrilled either way. And yeah, what a fun day. Thank you for tagging along. I'm so thrilled that you joined me today and I hope to catch you in the next one.